Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video about this hair. You've seen this hair from me before. It looks completely different from when I first bought it. So I've had this hair. This is a Sensational Bare and Natural Brazilian Lace Frontal Wig that I got from a beauty supply store. And I bought it in January or February of 2015. So it's almost been two years with this wig. Um, and there's a lot of things that are different about this hair. A lot. So, um, I'm going to go through the review just so you can see um, how I've worked with this wig to keep it this long. Because obviously it's a beauty supply store wig so the hair is not going to be the same quality as you would get from any other lace hair brand. So, if you want to see how I did that, keep on watching. Let me tell you the original specs of this wig. This wig, give me a moment, I need to take a look at my notes. Um, this wig came as a natural straight, natural straight, slightly wavy. The color is natural. Um, it came about 20 to 22 inches. Obviously it's not that long anymore. And it's um, lace with an L-shaped part and a half inch lace front and there are five combs and adjustable straps so um i think i'd say i have two i have three other reviews on this hair so what i initially did when i got this wig is i wore it as it was it was a beautiful wig i really liked it when it came out it was a very very silky texture when i got it i mean it laid very very flat and then I noticed after wearing it for a few months that the ends start to it start to tangle. It started to get really, really, it wasn't as manageable as I would have liked it to be. Um, it wasn't even tangling. It was like matting and clumping at the ends of the wig. So what I did was I cut it. So I cut it to like here-ish. And then that's when I started to curl it and it held curls very very well it still holds curls very very well um but it still would do the clumping things at the end so i cut it to like here um and i really really like the wig at that state but now we're at a different point where i wanted really short hair and i bought more wigs so i just cut this one so i've cut it down up to as you can see my shoulders and it's a cute little blunt cut and the hair has been great ever since granted I have not been wearing this hair as much as I did in the beginning but I did have this hair thrown in a drawer I had it balled up in bags and every time I pull it out and I brush it out the curls that were originally in the wig are still there um, if it wasn't crushed or anything a lot of the stuff stayed the same so let me show you what it looks like right now this is the front right here this is the lace as you can see right there on my edges right here but that's the lace let me show you that's what it looks like in the front and in the back this is what it looks like so when I first I actually recorded this video before and the hair did not look cute so um after i did the video and i saw how busted i look i took this thing off and i curled it and it was also uneven i don't know what my problem is but i don't know how to cut hair even so i had to uh cut it to where it was supposed to be and it was even both sides so it was, i think it's even now y'all tell me if it's not and then after that i just curled it and i just um one curled it back and forth so I curled it backwards and I curled it forwards, curled it backwards, curled it forwards, all over. And that's how I got all of these curls. Um, the hair is, it still mats a bit in the back and in certain areas, like in the root areas, it mats a lot, but not so much at the ends because it's not really touching anything. And that was the key with this hair. I can say it's very different is that the lace itself, and I'm not sure if you can tell, I'm going to get back up close. Okay, the lace is starting to fray in this area. 
and it gets really, really itchy too. Like this cap is too big for me, so I have the adjustable straps pulled all the way in. But it also closes in on my ears, so it just kind of itches, and sometimes it scratches the top of my ears because the cap um, is way too big for me. So it just kind of scratches the top of my ears. But I have a really small head, so. But the lace is um, fraying and itching my edges at times. The lace is not high quality lace. It's made out of like a, almost like a synthetic material. It's kind of plastically, plastic, plasticky. So it kind of like, it's hard. It's not soft. It's not, you know, I like that it's hard because it looks more realistic to me. I don't have to put, I don't have to do that much to the um, to the lace itself. The lace does what it does and it still has like a little bit of a sheen of it which on it, which is similar to a scalp. A scalp has a little bit more sheen. It's not like a matte, dry looking scalp, unless you got dry scalp. I'm not judging, boo. There are pros and cons to how inexpensive and cheap the lace is. The hair itself is still like dry-ish, but it kind of works out because I'm able to kind of, it holds the curls because it's not as silky. Um, is there anything else that has changed about this hair? I haven't done anything to it. I haven't, I haven't colored it. Um, I haven't really flat ironed it because it's already straight. There's really nothing else I've really done to the hair. Oh, it does shed a shitload. You talk about shedding, it sheds everywhere. I'm like a dog. But because it's shorter and I curled it, I don't really run my fingers through it as much. I don't care that there's matting in the nape area. You see, my hair is not coming, my fingers are not coming out of this matting. The shedding is minimal because I don't run my fingers through the hair unless I'm like trying to shake out some of the curls. When you first get the wig, it doesn't shed really at all. But over time, the hair does start to shed. Um, if you do end up cutting it short to increase the longevity of the wig, just um, don't run your fingers through it. I wouldn't advise you to sew this hair down, um, glue it down, because you will get frustrated. After reading um, people's feedback about, um, the, I think they have this hair in wefted hair. Um, if this is the same hair that comes in the wefts, you will get frustrated with the hair because it mats up, it sticks together. It feels like a human hair blend, even though it says it's Virgin Remy. To me, to me, just me y'all, it feels like it's like a blend. It doesn't feel like all human hair. It seems like they put some sort of synthetic material in there to fill it up. Which is fine. Um, I kind of bargain for that much when I buy hair from the beauty supply store. When I felt this hair when I first got it, it felt a little bit too, too silky. If you know what I'm saying, you girls, y'all, y'all know, y'all guys and girls know, y'all know when you buy hair and what it really, really feels like. Is there anything else? Over two years, let me wrap everything up. Over two years, it sheds more. It mats more. It, um, the lace frays, the lace kind of itches a little bit, um, it itches like my edges and stuff when it frays, and that's it. I mean, that's all the bad stuff. Um, the good stuff is it holds a curl very, very well. The shedding is bad but manageable if you cut it. The matting is manageable if you cut it. The, the lace is realistic to me, to me, and it's low maintenance if you pluck the part. I, I never really liked the adjustable straps from the beginning or the combs or any of that. It has helped the wig to fit my head and the wig doesn't slide back. It is very, very sturdy. But the combs and stuff like that, I'm not really into. I've noticed over time that when I did used to wear it, it used to pull on my hair, especially if I had my hair in cornrows underneath. So I don't particularly like combs at all. But 
if you do like combs, it does have, it, it is able to keep your hair, uh, the wig secure on your head. But I have to say, after putting the curls in it and everything and getting the feedback, I actually really, really still love this wig. It still is a staple wig for me. And I'll continue to wear it until I can't wear it anymore. This is probably going to be my last review on this wig because there's nothing else to say. I'm not going to cut it shorter than this because it would look stupid. It would just look dumb to me. My hair will be like up to... Well, maybe that, uh, maybe that would be cute. If I did something like this, like a cute little Okay, so I probably would do another review. I'm lying. But I really, really like it. I still would advise you to get it. But just be willing to roll with the punches and listen to the hair that you bought. And keep in mind, be realistic. This hair is not the hair that you're going to get from RPG show or anything like that. This is beauty supply store hair. So temper your expectations and work with it. Roll with it. If the hair starts to fight you, fight back. Cut it. Do some other stuff with it. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I got to get to the gym. Of course, I'm going to put a link where you can find the wig for less than what I paid for because I think I paid two hundred and ten, two hundred and eleven dollars for it. You should be able to get, you should be able to get this wig for like one fifty, maybe, and that's twenty to twenty two inches. So, um, I will leave leave all the links below. If you have any questions, leave them for me below. Thank you for watching. Bye.